The MacBook Pro is on the verge of its most significant transformation since the introduction of Apple Silicon. With the upcoming M5 Pro and M5 Max processors, Apple is not just iterating, it's reinventing. These chips represent a complete overhaul of Apple's approach to performance, artificial intelligence, and system integration. At Technology Review, we've been closely tracking Apple's trajectory, and this is no minor upgrade. It's a recalibration of what the MacBook Pro is and what it can be. While previous generations like the M1, M2, and M3 laid the foundation for a new era of computing, the M5 series is a much bolder move. It dives deeper into next-gen architecture, AI acceleration, and platform synergy than any MacBook before it. Let's explore what makes the M5 Pro and M5 Max the most important chips Apple has ever created. A silicon journey reaches its most ambitious chapter. Apple's break from Intel in 2020 was a turning point in personal computing. The M1 showed that Apple could design chips tailored specifically to its hardware and software ecosystem. Every version since the M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, followed by the M2 and M3 lineups, added incremental performance, better efficiency, and greater integration. But now, the M5 family isn't just about pushing clock speeds or increasing transistors. Color options are expected to remain simple, silver and space black. However, Apple may introduce a third shade, possibly a dark titanium, to echo the iPhone Pro lineup. But overall, expect visual continuity. This isn't about eye candy. It's about raw computing power. Thunderbolt 5 ushers in a new standard. Where physical changes do occur, connectivity is where they'll shine. The upcoming M5 models are expected to debut with Thunderbolt 5, a massive leap in bandwidth, allowing transfer speeds up to 80 gigabits per second. That's double the current Thunderbolt 4 standard. For pros working with 8K video workflows, external GPU docks, or ultra-high-speed drives, this upgrade is critical. It future-proofs the MacBook Pro for the kind of high bandwidth tasks that are just beginning to emerge in the creative space. M5 Pro and M5 Mac CPUs are getting a lot more muscle. CPU cores are set to increase dramatically with this next generation lineup. The M5 Pro may launch in two tiers, a base model with nine performance cores and four efficiency cores, and a higher configuration boasting 12 performance cores. The M5 Max will raise the bar even further, with top-end models carrying up to 14 performance cores. That's not just an evolutionary step, it's a potential doubling of compute power in high-performance tasks. Expect massive gains in Xcode builds, 3D rendering, scientific simulations, and machine learning inference. This is Apple targeting the kind of workloads typically reserved for desktop class workstations. GPU performance is taking off. The GPU inside the M5 chips is also receiving a major upgrade. The M5 Pro is expected to start with 18 GPU cores, scaling up to 22. The M5 Max, on the other hand, is rumored to begin at 34 GPU cores and max out at 42. This increase is especially relevant to creators. Whether you're editing 6K video in Final Cut Pro, doing GPU-based rendering in Blender, or working in complex real-time simulation environments, these gains will have real impact. Apple's unified memory approach means faster graphics without needing a discrete card, and that's a huge competitive advantage. A smarter neural engine built for the AI age. With the rise of local AI processing and machine learning models, Apple is doubling down on its neural engine. The M5 family will reportedly include a significantly more advanced machine learning accelerator capable of delivering much higher tops, trillions of operations per second. From intelligent text prediction and generative image processing to enhanced voice commands and real-time language translation, the M5 chips are built for AI tasks that would previously require cloud-based computation. Apple's vision is to bring these capabilities fully on device and the M5 series is the platform that will make it possible. 
RAM, and memory bandwidth get a boost. Apple traditionally keeps memory specs close to the chest, but trends suggest we'll see higher base configurations across both M5 Pro and Max variants. Expect options starting at 18 gigabytes and 36 gigabytes, with higher tiers stretching to 96 gigabytes or possibly more for the top tier M5 Max. Memory bandwidth could also scale to 512 gigabytes per second or beyond, which will significantly reduce bottlenecks for data intensive workloads like large video editing projects, data modeling, and AI training at the edge. Combined with Apple's ultra-fast SSDs and unified memory architecture, these changes will make multitasking and parallel processing faster than ever. What about the display? Likely staying the same. Despite all these internal changes, Apple is likely keeping the existing mini-LED display technology. Promotion support, HDR compatibility, and super bright peak nits are already ahead of the curve. Rumors suggest we won't see OLED MacBooks until 2026 at the earliest, so don't expect display upgrades this cycle. macOS integration will be tighter than ever. Apple's control over hardware and software continues to pay off. The upcoming version of macOS expected to launch alongside these new machines will reportedly include deeper system-level AI integration, memory-aware app scaling, and optimized background task scheduling for the new core structure. This means the performance you get out of an M5-powered MacBook Pro will feel even more efficient in practice, not just on paper. Animations will be snappier, battery life will be stretched further, and demanding tasks will complete faster thanks to better chip-to-OS synergy. Release date and pricing expectations. So, when can you get your hands on one? Apple is expected to announce the M5 MacBook Pros in November 2025. The company has a history of releasing its high-end laptops toward the end of the year to catch the holiday shopping season and ride the wave of professional upgrades during Q4. Pricing is unlikely to change dramatically. The 14-inch M5 Pro MacBook Pro will likely start around $1,999 while higher-end M5 Max models, especially 16-inch variants with top specs, may climb north of $3,499. That's premium pricing, but this is premium hardware. Final thoughts from Technology Review. The upcoming M5 Pro and M5 Max MacBooks aren't just upgrades. They're the evolution of Apple's chip strategy at its most mature. Apple is leveraging everything it has learned across four chip generations and applying it in a smarter, more scalable, and AI-ready way. This is not just about performance numbers. It's about creating machines that redefine the relationship between user and device. With smarter AI processing, higher GPU counts, dynamic CPU scaling, Thunderbolt 5, and unmatched software optimization, Apple is poised to crush the competition across both creative and productivity workflows. Here at Technology Review, we believe the M5 MacBook Pros will mark a new frontier in portable computing. If you've been waiting for a real reason to upgrade your MacBook Pro, this might be it. Stay tuned as we cover all the official announcements, benchmarks, and comparisons once Apple makes this beast official.